Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to update you with my projections of the crypto markets as well as what I'm going to do in light of them. So here we are looking at the Bitcoin one hour chart. And if you remember from the last video, I mentioned that the market made a crash and then it bounced up. But over the past few hours, we can see the, the market did not continue to move up. and Instead, it has been ranging and slowly sliding to the downside. So we see the same thing happening on practically all of the other currency pairs. This is the Ethereum chart. Same thing, a bounce, but no clean follow through. And here the market is consolidating. For Cake, we can see the market is actually sliding further lower than Bitcoin. Same thing with AVEX. Bounce, uh, a drop, bounce, and here the market did not follow through with that bounce. So with this in mind, I am not too bullish on the markets just yet. Let's take a look at the four hour Bitcoin chart. So generally my expectation at this point is for the market price to continue sliding down a little bit more, maybe even breaking below the low, who knows, okay? But the idea is that I expect the market to keep sliding down in the foreseeable future, but then swing back up again. So I am no longer expecting the bounce to be quick. So I have shaved off most of my non-core holding positions and I'm waiting for the market to slip lower and to slowly accumulate as the market slides down. So that's my plan across these currency pairs. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the daily chart of each of these pairs. So for Bitcoin here again, once, I, well, once again, I expect the market price to dip lower and then to make another swing up. At this point in time, of course, all of this is subject to change. For Ethereum, it looks a little bit more bullish. However, I do expect the market to, to follow the lead of Bitcoin and to continue sliding down. Okay, for Kick, it's really not looking too good at this point in time. You can see uh, quite a lot of room to the downside for this pr the prices to fall. So I'll probably be holding off any Kick buys for now. AVEX is also a bit tricky because if the market price does not quickly recover by the end of the week, I may not want to be holding on to this token. So right now, my main objective is to wait for Ethereum to show signs of it turning back up again and to be looking to buy. Among these four cryptocurrencies, it, it does look like Ethereum is the strongest that's holding its value the best. Okay, so that's, that's the pair I'm, I'll be looking to um, enter into my positions more in the shorter term. At the same time, my core investment holdings in Bitcoin and Ethereum, as per the vault method, remains unchanged. I will be making an update video at the appropriate time. So everything I mentioned in this video is just to cover my shorter term speculative plays. Okay, so with that said, uh, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, please trade carefully and keep your cool. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.